I've been using Discord since 2017, and in that period of time, I have learned a ton about setting up a server, how to use it, how to build a community, and I get asked questions all the time, especially because I make content here on YouTube about Discord servers and, and you know, setup tutorials and that sort of thing. How do I add a Discord bot to my Discord server? In addition to that, I also get asked a lot, well, what kind of permissions do I need to add to my Discord bot? How do I make it work properly? So I figured in this video, we would go through all that. And whether you're a beginning Discord user or you've been using Discord for quite a while, you're going to learn everything you need to know about adding bots to your server, as well as how to set up those permissions and make sure that they're operating correctly. So let's dive in and take a look at how to add a bot to your Discord server. Now, adding a Discord bot to your Discord server and getting all the permissions set up sounds a lot more complicated than it really is. But what has been really complicated in the past is finding good copyright free or DMCA free music to use on YouTube or Twitch. But that's where the sponsor of this video comes in. Epidemic Sound makes all of that so much easier. Now, Epidemic Sound, if you guys don't know, is a platform where you can find over 40,000 songs and 90,000 sound effects for your content creation anywhere online. And they've got a brand new feature that they've just added called Sync to Video. And if you go down here in the right hand corner of their website, you can either choose a file from your computer, drag it in here, or for this case, we're going to use one of their templates and I can select the template. I can select the template, hit sound match this scene. It's going to go through Epidemic Sound's entire playlist, every single song on here, 40,000 plus tracks, and then I can select one. And for instance, it will recognize and say, hey, you know what? Only playing by Josh Graham would be a great track for this video while this guy is running. And let's be honest. It did a great job picking out a perfect soundtrack. So I want to encourage you guys to check out Epidemic Sound if you're any type of creator, whether it be on YouTube, Twitch, or another platform. It's amazing. And this new feature allows you to basically find the perfect track for your videos super super easy and simple so check it out links in the description so if you sign up right now you get a free month make sure you guys check that out epidemic sound thank you for sponsoring this video now that we've made getting copyright free music super easy it's time to make adding a discord bot to your discord server super easy as well so the first thing i want to do is jump over here to uh the bot that we're going to be using today and this is me six now if you guys are on Discord or have been on Discord for any amount of time, you've probably heard of Me6, the bot. And this is the very first bot that I ever used on Discord. I've been using it ever since day one. And I'll tell you right now, this is an absolute amazing bot, okay? I'm gonna have a link in the description if you'd like to get Me6 for yourself. They do have a lot of features that are free, but then they also have some premium features. So it kind of depends on your needs. For the purpose of this video and showing you how to add a bot to your server, we are going to use Me6. Now, uh, I do want to go ahead and share with you guys the fact that Me6 has a ton of features. So if you're looking for a good bot and you're brand new to Discord, I do highly recommend checking out this bot itself. Uh, not only does it have a lot of features like, you know, welcome messages and custom commands, reaction roles, you know, uh, even moderation tools, ticketing, polls. I mean, you name it. Look at all this stuff down here. They've got a ton of stuff. Uh, but one of the cool things that I really love about Me6 is that the UI is extremely simple to use. And so when you're getting started out on Discord, a lot of bots will um, have a somewhat more complicated setup or dashboard that you have to go through. But this particular bot makes everything super simple and super clean. So I highly recommend Me6. They've got a lot of cool features. This is how we're going to, or this is what we're going to add to our, uh, our Discord server. Now you may be asking, well, how do I get this added, right? So. Let's go over, and this is the main page that you're going to run into when you click that link in the description of this video. Um, and you're going to basically just go down here and it's going to say add to Discord. Now, if it doesn't say add to Discord and it says, you know, um, log into Discord, then make sure you go through and you click the login button, which should show up somewhere around here. But once you've logged into your account, the next thing you're going to do is add this bot to your server. So you're going to go over here, click add to Discord and it's going to pop up and ask you which server you want to add this bot to now i've got a couple of different servers but in this case we're going to add me six to our test server so uh you can see i've already got it added to our server called the flock and if you guys would like to join our server by the way discord.gg flock i'll have a link in the description as well 
feel free to jump in with us. But uh, let's go ahead and hit the setup button here. And it's going to pop up a couple of permission questions. And at this screen right here, there's something that I want to encourage you guys to think about. Okay. Uh, I'm going to add to the server test server right there. Make sure that's selected. And then uh, I'm going to hit continue. Now, once I do this, it's going to ask me what permissions I want the bot to have. Now, before you select any permissions at this screen, you have to make a decision about something on how you want your Discord server to operate. Let's go back over. Let's go to Discord itself. And here's our Discord server. In the Flock Discord server, I wanted to show you the way that we have our bots set up and explain the two different options you have. Um, the first option is, and let's go ahead and go down to, uh, we'll go to our, let's go to our uh, just Eagle Live notifications. Here we go. Okay, so you'll notice over here on the right hand side, I've got different roles set up with, with different members within our Discord server. And underneath our subscribers here from Twitch, I have server bots and this is every bot that we have in our discord server now if you're wondering why is it me six over here it is it's called eagle bot me six has a really cool feature where you can rename it and put your own profile picture and basically make it your own bot uh, but this is me six right here uh if i want my bot to show up on the right hand side of my discord server then i have to create a special role for all of my discord bots now that's where this permissions list comes into play if you are going to set up your bots under their own role and you don't care about that role showing up here on the right hand side then what i recommend you do is go through and unselect every single one of these permissions just uncheck mark all of them uh that way what you can do is you can go up to your server right hand uh or right click on the uh, server go to server settings go to roles and that way you can set up a server bot role and because this isn't going to be visible when I click on server bot underneath uh, display role members separately from online members I can turn this off and once that's turned off then I can add every single bot that I add to my discord server right over here as a at one I can search my members add them here and then I can go back to my roles and I can drag that permission or that role rather I can drag that all the way up to the top and I'll drag it all the way up here to be above every other role in my server, except for maybe the, the server owner, right? I can drag it all the way to the top and, and it will allow me to set permissions for just this one role so that all of my bots, I can turn all these on and all of my bots will have permissions to do everything they need to do. Now, if I want, if I want the server bots role to show up on the right hand side, but I don't want it to be at the very top of this list, I want it to be down here under some other roles. Then I need to go and, and basically sign up uh, each bot with the, their own permissions. So in that case, you would want to go through and select every permission that you want for your bot. Now, I recommend if you're getting started out, turn off the administrator role and then keep every other permission turned on. You probably won't need a lot of these and this you can go you can go through and fine tune this later. But uh, if you're getting started out, go ahead and just turn on, turn off administrator and then hit authorize. Okay. If you want the bot to show up on the right hand side, the reason why is because you'll notice over here under my roles, you'll notice that I have every single bot in my server set up as their own individual role. And it will automatically do that whenever you, whenever you go through and authorize this list, when you're setting up your bot. So it's, it's, there's two different ways you can do it. I recommend doing it individually because if you want your bots to show up on the right hand side, that way you can have them in their own role down here and you can add them, but then you can actually drag their individual roles up above all the other uh, roles in your server. And the reason why they have to be up there is because they need to manage these roles. So in order to manage people in your server that have these roles, the bots role has to be above their role. If you do go ahead and, and blend them all into one role under server bots or whatever you choose to call it then you just want to make sure that you drag this this role to the very top so that all your bots can manage their roles. So anyway, once you have that figured out and you you decide the way you want to do this, then at that point, that's where we're going to go on and uh, select our permissions. So we're going to turn off administrator and then we're going to hit authorize. Now, when we do, it's going to say, are you a human? Yes, I am. It's going to say, uh, OK, cool deal. And now we have added me six to our discord server. Um, and so it's going to bring us into the dashboard and it's going to ask you to describe your community the best. Uh, in this case, I'm going to hit other and hit send. 
And, uh, and then this is just going to give me recommendations as to what they think I should be using in my server. But uh, now I've got the Me6 bot added to, let me go down here to my test server, to my test server. And you'll notice that it pops up right over here on the right hand side. Um, and, uh, and so now that Me6 is added to my server, I can further go in and change permissions or anything like that that I want. Um, and, and after I've got all that set up, the only other thing left to do is to go into Me6 here and set up what things you want Me6 to do. So for instance, if I want Me6 to say, you know, a welcome message every time somebody comes into my server, I would go up to this welcome message, hit enable, activate welcome and goodbye. And then I can say send a message when a user joins the server, turn that on. And then, you know, from here I can go in and select what channel I want the message to go to, which would be the welcome channel. Uh, I could type out what I want the message to say. I can even turn on like a little card that'll pop up. In fact, if you guys look in our server, um, let me pull that back up here. If you look in the uh, flock discord server up here, then every time uh, somebody joins our server, it will introduce them right here. And there you go. You've got a bunch of uh, cards that show people's profile pictures, and it's just a cool way to kind of have people introduced into your server. So Me6 is uh, is the way to go when it comes to um, server bots. I highly recommend uh, using Me6, and then go through and just customize this to um, you know to operate the way you want it to. Um, and then everything is going to be managed for your Discord bot from the dashboard right here. So every single thing you want to add. You just go through, you click on it, you look at all the things that it offers, you know, moderation, you can activate the moderator and it's got all kinds of cool moderation tools that you can use. Um, but it's really that simple, you guys. Now, some bots will have a more complicated setup, but that's why I recommend going with something like Me6 in the beginning, because it's a lot simpler and the UI and managing it is just a really, really, really easy process. So there you have it. Adding a Discord bot to your Discord server is not super complicated, but it can seem a little daunting until you understand how things work. So hopefully that basically walkthrough of how to do so helps give you a little bit more confidence and you can be adding bots to your Discord server and getting them set up no problem. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to know when videos like this go live. In addition to that, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments of this video. I'll try to answer as many of them as I can. Uh, you can also jump into my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash Eagle Garrett. I would love to have you guys over there, but you can also feel free to ask me any questions you have in the chat while I'm live. Our discord at discord.gg slash flock is a great place to get plugged into the community. So hit that up as well. And last but not least, you can find me on all the social media platforms. I've got links down in the description for everything that we've talked about. So make sure you go down there and check it out. Um, but guys, with that being said, until the next video, as always, rock on, peace out, God bless. And last but not least, kick on! Also, we got a guy up on that tower in the distance, if you can snipe him out. Okay. You said the tower up in the distance. Can you mark it? Yeah, I think I think it. Uh, it's like a white thing. Okay. Uh, 168. 168. Where's my. I don't have a. Uh, oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. I guess I see it. I see it. Okay. Oh, I got him, dude! One shot! One shot! Dude, that was the best nice. EMR snipe of all time.